So at my party, I, I use Tupper Bucks, and I can tell you more about that at a separate time, but it's kind of like a reward system to get everyone to do what they're supposed to do at a party, to pay attention, to help me find page numbers. It really engages the guests at the party. Some of you use Tupper tickets or Tupper Bucks. I use Tupper Bucks. So with the Smidget game, I'm going to be using Tupper Bucks, and this is a game I play at the end of the party. Now before the party starts, when the guests aren't there yet, I've got two bags of smidgets. I have one labeled party and one labeled no party. And the way I can tell, I usually put a little dot on the bottom of my ones that say party. That way when they're all in a bowl and I need to re-separate them out, I'll know that the ones with a dot on them say party inside. Okay, so if the party, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight girls here. I would probably only want to put 10 smidgets in my bowl for eight girls. I don't want to have like 20 smidgets, but there's only going to be eight girls. So if my host says there's going to be 10 people, I usually put 12. There's eight here, so I'm going to put about 10 in there. And odds, I want odds to be in favor of party, right? You could do 50-50, but it is, a, it is a booking game and you're trying to get booking, so I recommend that you do higher. So I would do at least six to four, so six parties, and then four non-parties, and then I'm ready to go. Okay, so we've done the party. The party's almost over, and we're about to wrap things up. So this is the last game I play at the party. So ladies, this is the last game I'm gonna play tonight. It's called the Smidget Game, and this is my favorite game, and I play this at every party. So this is a lot of fun. If you're feeling a little bit poor with the Tupper Bucks, you can catch up really quick with the smidget game. So what I want you to do, just grab one of these little smidgets. They're super cute. Grab your favorite color. Take one and pass it. I love it. Don't open it up, whatever you do. Do not open up your smidget. Just hold it in your hand, and I'm going to tell you how to play the smidget game. All right, everyone has one? These are really cute containers. There's about 100 things that you could put in a smidget. I'm gonna pay you 1,000 Tupper Bucks for everything you can tell me that you would put in a smidget. Remember, they're airtight and look good proof. So what would you put inside your smidget? I'll pay you 1,000 Tupper Bucks. Use, use chewing gum. Use mm -hmm. chewing gum. <laughs> Sprint. Jewelry, Pills. hair clips, hair, hair clips, stuff. pills, yes. beads, beads, dressing. candy, dressing, dressing. dressing. good, like good, keep going, keep going, mustard, mustard. good, salsa, salsa. vitamins, salsa, vitamins. <laughs> say that again, say, say that again, powder. vitamins, safety pins, essential oils, essential oils, yes, essential oils. good, what else, safety pins, safety pins. sweet and low, lotion, sweet and low, or your special splendor, stevia, yeah. any of those special ones, perfume, perfume, oh, on a cotton ball, mm -hmm. yes, oh, so if you're going on a way on a trip, you can put your favorite, perfume on the cotton ball and it will, since it's airtight, it will stay with you through the whole trip. Baby teeth, yes. Skittles. Yes. M&M's. Yes. <laughs> Baby hair. Baby hair. Oh, that's food in case you find a stray cat. Cat food. <laughs> or fish food. Yes. You can also put Hershey Kisses in here. Oh, One or seeds. two. Seeds. I put seeds in there when I save seeds. Spices. Very good. Spices. What if you're going away for a weekend trip and you don't want to bring a big bottle lotion. of lotion? Shampoo. Shampoo. Conditioner. Conditioner. <laughs> Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Face wash. She's Very good. Your favorite face wash. If you have a favorite Your makeup face you wipes. like. The face wipe. Those makeup remover wipes. Okay. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Yes, for lip balm. You, that's lip great balm on your lips. So great. There's all kinds of things you can put inside of a smidget. There's many more ideas. The bad news about the smidgets is we do not sell the smidgets, but the good news is everyone that plays this game with me tonight, you get to keep your smidget. So the game is optional, but the game's a lot of fun, and I'm sure you all are going to want to play the smidget game. I'm going to tell you how to play it. So inside the smidget there, don't open it yet, but there's candy. There's also a little tiny piece of paper in every one smidget. And your paper is going to have an amount of Tupper Bucks written on it. Okay, let's say that you, let's say Jana says, I want to play the smidget game, and she opens up her smidget. She reads the little paper to me. I'm going to pay her whatever's on her paper. So if her paper said 6,000 Tupper Bucks, I pay her 6,000 Tupper Bucks. She keeps the smidget, and she's finished with the game. She's done. Some of you are lucky though, and when you picked your smidget, you picked a bonus smidget.
you will know if yours is a bonus midget when you open it and you open the paper, it's going to say 10,000 Tupper Bucks, which is a lot of Tupper Bucks, plus a party and it has a happy face because you're going to be smiling because that means you've won the smidget, the candy, 10,000 Tupper Bucks, and you've won your very own guess. Party. 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 Woohoo. You can win a party if you're lucky. I'll pay you a thousand Tupper bucks if you tell me why anyone would ever want to win a Tupperware party. Free stuff. Free stuff. Mm -hmm. Number one reason. Free Have stuff. Fun. Have fun with some girlfriends. Get away Girls from the kids. Get away from kids. <laughs> Girls night out. Yep. There's all kinds of reasons. Also, there's half price bonus items. Skittles. He says Skittles. He says, I want to play because I want some Skittles. <laughs> I love Skittles. <laughs> I do have people that play because they want the candy inside. That's fine. There's all kinds of um, reasons that people would want to do a Tupperware party. Um, also, uh, the hostess tonight, Kimber Kimberly's our hostess tonight, and when at least two of her friends here tonight book a party, then she's going to get the bonus to some extra gifts. There's going to be some, it's the key to the extra bonus gifts when at least two of her friends book a party. So you're also help, helping Kimberly out as well. And I'll be very honored to come to your house and do a party with you and your friends. So there's all kinds of reasons to do a Tupperware party. But remember I said the game's optional. So you have three choices. If you're sitting here and you're freaking out a little bit because you're not a party kind of girl, maybe this is not for you. So if you definitely do not want to have a Tupperware party ever, 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 you can just say, I'm not going to play the game. You would just put the smidget back and you're off the hook. That easy. Okay. Maybe you're sitting on the fence and you're kind of thinking about it right now. You're thinking, should I have a party? Should I have some friends over? If you're sitting on the fence and you're not sure if you should have a Tupperware party or not, I would tell you to play the game. Your smidget is going to tell you if you were meant to have a party or not. Okay? You don't even have to think about it. Your smidget will tell you if you were meant to have a party or not. So that's choice number two. Choice number three would be if you know you want a party because let's say you want free stuff or you want your girlfriends over for a fun night or you want um, bonus items or you want to help Kimberly get some extra host bonus gifts. If you know you want a party, tell me before you open your smidget. I will pay you 10,000 topper bucks first, I'll then I will pay you whatever's inside. So is there anyone in here who would like to have, definitely like to have a Tupperware party? I Tell me now. Yes, yeah, so, okay, so there's your 10 up front. Thanks. You can open your smidget and I'll pay you whatever else is inside. Is there anyone else that wants to take a Tupperware party up front? Can it be a book party? Now for the book party, yes for the smidget game, but to count for a booking for Kimberly, um, it has to be an in-home party for, uh, for it to count as a dating for Kimberly. But you can still play the smidget game if you just want to do a book party. I recommend that people do a book party in conjunction with an in-home party because that way your friends that really want to see it get to see it. Um, and then you can also pass the book around for friends that are too busy to show up at your house. So you can do both together. So does anyone else want to definitely take a party for sure? I'll take a party. Oh, good. There you go. So you could open yours. I'll pay you whatever's inside. We want another party, mm -hmm. so I guess we'll have to. Oh, good. So she won 10000 A Marisol won 10000 um, and a party, so she doesn't have to do two parties unless she really wants to, but she gets an extra 10000 Tupper Bucks. She ended up with 10000 oh. 10,000 plus 10,000, 20,000 Tupper Bucks for the auction. I got 10,000. You did too, it was meant to be. There's 10 more, I'll so you it. have 20. You're gonna do it too, very good. Is there anyone that's sitting on the fence and wants to take a chance? If you wanna take a chance, go ahead and open yours and I'll, I'll just, <coughs> I'll pay you whatever's inside and you could do whatever the smidget wants to do. And if you don't wanna play, that is fine. I don't want this to feel high pressure. Just You could just put your smidget back. Thanks. The host always gets a free smidget, so you get to open Whatever yeah. smidget, if it says party, this is your party, unless you want to do another party. That's basically how you play the smidget game and a Tupperware party. And as you can see, it's it's my way of asking everybody at the party to do a party without going up to every guest and putting them on the spot and saying, hey, Janice, would you like to have a Tupperware party? Because that might make Janice feel uncomfortable. It definitely makes me feel uncomfortable because that's not my, my personality. So this game works great for me because I'm asking everybody and they don't have to feel bad about saying no. It's a game. And, and I usually end up getting two, three bookings that way.